Cosmic Fury 8 has good and bad points in my opinion. I am here to share them. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below and let's jump straight into episode 8. <laughs> We get a brand new intro, which is normal, but I feel like you're showing things that happen that didn't need to be there. And with that, you get a bad point. A good point, though, is Scrozzle. Adding into that good news, the anti-Zord force field is down, and that's because apparently one Squidrel will do that. You take one down, they all fall like dominoes. Now, this is a bad point to me, but normally CEOs of companies, they don't care about anything. They only care about either their reputation or getting a lot of money. When you see Bajillia coming in and saying like, oh no, like my daughter's disappeared. It's, it's for the company. I mean, it's for me. It's for me. Oh no. I kind of thought, well, that's pretty much like every single company, like the big companies that just don't give a shit. So yeah, that gets a bad point. Now, a good point is the fact that Lord said actually credits Scrozzle. I generally thought that he would not have been credited. It just felt really weird. But Lord Zed was like, yeah, this was Scrozzle's idea. Maybe later on, if this plan didn't go well, he could blame Scrozzle. But Zed giving praise and credit? That's something kind of new. One of the good points here is that Zed doesn't care about Earth anymore. He's already conquered it, so maybe he just doesn't care. But the fact is that he has plans for other planets, for other things, is interesting because I generally thought that because no one has really conquered Earth before, he really, really wanted it and would hold it against everyone. But no, doesn't give a shit about Earth. Who would have thunk it? I kind of really like this part when Izzy and Fern teleport in and say, hey, yeah, we've freed New Zealand, but it was going to be called New Zedland. I generally thought, do you know what? That'd be kind of a cool name for it. Maybe some people do call it that when they don't know how to say New Zealand. They just go New Zedland. But yeah, I thought it was nice. Loved it. Give it a point. For a bad point, I really didn't like the group chat. It kind of reminded me of that stuff when it's like your birthday and everyone like the family is like, hey, how are you doing? And you're like, mm, it's fine. But it generally reminded me of the 90s. I just wasn't a big fan because obviously there's probably nothing playing on one side and they've probably like put the visual effects in or something. And they're like, yeah, okay, thanks, Billy. You know, <laughs> nice one. Just didn't like it. Boom, we're coming in with another point where I hate. And it's the kid's attitude, which I think her name is Sammy. And it's just how she runs into Ion's like restaurant, says, hey, I want a cake. Ion's like, sorry, I'm closed due to the invasion. And she's just like, mm, I don't like it. Why? Like the kid should be like, okay, yeah, I understand. You know, I just really wanted to try it. And the fact is that even when Ion gives the cake recipe, the kid just runs off. There's an invasion. It's not something that you don't say like, oh, it's okay. Like if you see these bad guys, don't get near it. It just... I didn't like the attitude of the kid. I felt like it was just a uh, why. A good point is the fact that Ion gives the flogging cake recipe to the kid's mum, which again was a nice thing to do. Again, obviously Ion knows how to make it off by heart, but yeah, at least he did something really, really nice. Good point. We see Slifer and Mucus in human form. Really nice. I generally enjoyed these scenes and thought they were fantastic. Another really good point is when we see Slifer in the blue dress generally didn't expect to see it and then him firing off fireworks it definitely gets a big old point for that carrying on with the good vibes definitely seeing the backstory of slifer and mucus so the fact is that they opened up their own circus and then suddenly lord zed comes along and just trashes it but seeing them you know, slifer turn into his human form and then obviously mucus using a wish token to then turn into a human Again, all of this was really good backstory and really added in more for the characters rather than just like, oh, hey, we're just here and we're helping you for no reason. Meanwhile, back at the base, everyone is on edge because they know that Mucus and Slifer are bad guys. But I really like the point where they all get to read the minds and actually get to see the backstories again and know that they're okay rather than just kind of trusting Ion. Even though I'm going to give this a bad point that they don't trust ion like he's just turned around and said hey this is all good but no apparently that's not allowed a bad point as i just mentioned you think that Tarek would understand slifer as well as mucus rather than just being like 
Oh no, I don't believe them. You were once evil, so you would know that you had a redemption arc. I get that you don't trust them, but yet they've completely changed. You think that they would attack the rangers straight away, but they definitely didn't. And that I think is a bad point. Notice how they never bring up the mind meld again. It's just, let's read their minds. So again, maybe this was an error. Maybe they didn't want to write in more Star Trek reference, but I'm giving that a bad point because I like Star Trek references. But I'm going to give this a good point because I do like the fact when Mucus is having a mind read, she turns around and says, don't think about fish with human feet. And I kind of wish as much as I wouldn't like the kind of like the graphic to come out, I kind of would like to see the graphic because I think that would be kind of cool to see. It would have been like the Monty Python fish just with human feet. I kind of want to see that right now. Carrying on with another good point is Inkworth's voice. It is very British that you think that you would hear. Like, oh, I will like the fact that I'll get your tea, Master Zed. Again, this is the thing that I kind of like. I like hearing either proper or fake British accents in American TV shows because you then play the game of, are they British or not? Or are they just putting it on there? Which one do you think it is? One really good point in this episode is the fact that Mucus doesn't want to be human. She wants to be a mushroom again. She tells all the others, she starts crying, and Zato says that no one should feel uncomfortable in their body, and he changes her back to actually being a mushroom. With the response of her saying, you're a fun guy, I generally really like that reference, but I really like it, and it's a very heartful moment. But I am gonna give this a bad point because we know that if you break the wish totems or something that they're able to turn back so I don't know why they just didn't break it if I'm wrong please let me know in the comments because I'm pretty much sure that was one of the things that they said even though that it was completely and utterly like you know permanent I'm sure that they broke it and they were able to turn back I am pretty much sure on that one but if I'm not please let me know below in the comments on what actually happens rather than saying you're wrong another good point is that they kept the suits I like the fact that they kept the Slifer suit. I'm very happy that they kept the Nuka suits. I just generally think that it works really well. And the fact is that even though this is a different season, different suits, different monsters, bad guys, whatever, the fact that we have Mucus as well as Slifer, I really like this. This is fantastic. Carry on with the good points. I really like the fact that Ion and Javi are fighting in the warehouse. It's a condensed space. It looks really cool. You have Tarek in there as well. Then obviously you've got Mucus as well as Slifer fighting. And it's not just the general, oh no, we're going to stand here. Mucus does hide, but Slifer goes in for that fight. I think this is really cool. And we, I wish that we got more of this. I love the fact that the fighting in the enclosed state worked really well. And it was using your abilities as well as what was around the area. Really sold this fight even more. Carrying on with this, you also have Slifer turning around and shouting out his attacks like dodge parry parry attack to the left to the right like this he said it in season two of dino fury and i really enjoyed it i like this sort of thing because it adds to the character and it's not just like i'm gonna dodge you actually hear it from him so it's nice to hear that one good point is the final blow to bajillia as well as squillia now you normally think that the monsters would escape perfectly but this means that they are destroyed i just like the fact that they were quickly overpowered they were quickly taken out and thus therefore they're gone generally thought that was a kind of cool little like little thing that they added there slifer pretending to be squillia didn't see it kind of happening thought that they were just going to teleport onto the base and that would be it seeing slifer turn into squillia was kind of a cool little thing it's kind of interesting to hear slifer talk like squillia one thing that really really got to me and made me kind of laugh is the fact that when slifer as squillia is on the base and she introduces mucus as a lawyer uh, mucus just goes hello literally thought that was funny don't know why it was it was just the whole way that she was standing there i generally just loved it it's one of my favorite moments in the show Hello. this gets another big point and i really like the fact that everybody loves zato and the fact is he turns around and says i was wrong i thought this would be the best way to have ion as well as Sauron, not actually tell everyone what's been going on with him and the fact that the magic drains he is gone and I like the fact that everybody is very supportive and they're not like, Zato, you can't do anything now. You've got to stay in the ship. So I just generally thought that was a very nice touch. 
and that we're continuing the story and Zato isn't benched for the rest of the season, even though we've got two episodes left at this time. Slifer and Mucus are now actually on Eltar and they're in the base. They're finding the Triceratops statue and the fact is they just pull up a cartoon bomb and they're like, oh my God, what are we going to do? And then they place it on there. Now, this is something that I also am going to give a point to is because the bomb doesn't take 30 minutes to go off. As soon as everybody comes in, because when you put your hands on the Triceratops statue, the alarms goes off and everybody rushes in. But the bomb goes off really quickly, destroying it. And I was just like, do you know what? That's really cool. Thank you for not making me wait 20 minutes or half an hour like you did, Turbo. But generally was a nice thing. And we finish this off with a good point of having Ollie's powers just disappear as we have seen with the others. And the fact is that we know that he is good, but he's playing along. And the fact that he plays along to make the others go, oh no, what's gone on? That to me was perfect. And I liked it. It added more to it. And the fact that this is like Ollie just goes, no. And if anyone put their hand on Lord Zed, I reckon they would be destroyed. But the fact that Ollie can do this worked perfectly. So yeah that is it and with that i am going to bring this video to a close thank you very much for listening and watching i really appreciate what you do to help this channel thank you very much and if you want to help out the channel hit like favorite comment and subscribe if you want to check out the patreon or even go further and help the channel by looking at the channel memberships that would be fantastic thank you very much i am going to leave it there i hope you have a really nice rest of your day or night wherever you are but yeah i'll leave it there thank you once again and i'll catch you in the next video Hello. i want to say a big thank you to all my patreon supporters and i wanted to shout out kimono cat cura sonata micah baldwin your help goes a long way to help support the channel and if you want to help support the channel the links to my patreon and channel memberships are listed below in the description ara, ara. チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとう。チャンネル登録、高評価、お願い。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができるよ。